Right. Yep. Back out. This time we're in a place called the Lake District. Freezing. <coughs> and um, we're going to go up here. It's called. Ah, there you go. How do you zoom in? That one, top one. Right, zoom in, left, zoom out. Oh, that's cool, look at that. There we're, that's where we're going. What's it called? Whiteless Pike. Whiteless Pike. Up there. We've had no beer. <laughs> <laughs> None at all. Not even a drop. Um, it's about, what time is it like? 20 past 5. 20 past 5, early doors. Aye, right, so we've got the, um, because the clocks and I'm went, Rob, an old friend. Aye, because the clocks went forward, we've got a lot more daylight now, so it's better. So there we go. Back up with Skinny Rob. Skinny Rob, that's me, yeah. <laughs> As opposed to any other kind of Rob. So we're going that way, and then I think the path goes up there, if you can see it. And then just up there, round up that grassy track. Anyway, I hit them grassy tracks, they're slippy. I'll hand this over to the master. There you go. Ah. Boosh. Young Padawan. Got my tent. He's got his tent. <laughs> <laughs> just. <laughs> There's a little story behind that, but we'll not go into that. Anyway, got Ranadale knots there. Whiteless Pike, like you said. Over there is uh, look, look oh yeah, the high style ridge is looking amazing. Like red pike, high crag, high style. Everybody knows that ridge. But I'm here, haystacks. Freaking, it's called Fleetwith Pike. What's behind that? It's the gables and. Uh, Brandreth, Brandreth over to the left. Brandreth, Robinson, Heinz Goth, no, that's over to the left. You can't see them from here. Um, but yeah, it's cold. It's windy. A total contrast to last week's camp. But you know, there is a little bit of sunshine popping through. Plus, I'm out with my mates, never been out with them for ages. So, boosh! We'll bring you back! There's no more than that. But I'm here for good views, like. Aye. It's all there. Give you the gig. Probably one of the best parts of Lake District, I reckon. You know what it's all about, don't you? The steep paths! Look how steep it is! I hope it's only that bit though. It's gotta be. This is not like last week. It's steep as last week, but I don't think it's as long. Whew. The road is long. <laughs> it ain't heavy. It is actually. My bro. It's me big pack. <sighs> so we're going up there. Path winds around. It's high in you think. It is, definitely. What it really is. Think? We thought it was really level with Ranadale Lots now. Ranadale Lots is over there. Anybody who's reading up Ranadale Lots, you'll know how steep that one is getting to it. But it's just a steady slog. After all that rain, look at that weather. That sun, though, like you. Ah, it's nice, isn't it? It's nice, huh? It's uh, Crummock Water. What's that other one? Elta Water. Uh, do you think that's. The back it, one. Oh, is that what it is? Is it not Brothers no, it's Water? Not water, because Elder Water is by Lang. Aye, right, that's Brothers it's Water, isn't it? No, that's is that Lowe's Water? Lowe's Water. Aye, ah, it is. No, I don't think it is. You know, Crummock, Buttermere, Crummock, Lowe's Water. I don't think it is because I drove past that and it, it didn't it didn't look like that at all. We'll come back. We'll, we'll bring you back. Is it not Bassenthwaite? No. Nah. Can't be Bassenthwaite. Nah. If it's it if it's not Bassenthwaite, it's Lowe's Water. You sure it's not Enerdale? Have a look, have a look. Anyway, this is steep. Corgamos. You've made that up, that's a tar on that. Look. 
weer hier. En dan. Als je zoom out. Dat one there. Uh, oh dear. Oh, it is low as water, isn't it? Low as water, I thought it was because uh, the metal break there, right, isn't it? Yeah. Metal break is that big one there. Yeah. Aye, low as water. It just looked, because I drove past that and it just looked different. Aye. Uh, there was a higher fell on the other side of it. See, when you're up on fleet with you, you can see the three of them. Aye, aye. That's the view, but aye, it's low as yeah, water. Yeah, it's low as water, aye. I knew, I knew that, I knew. Ah. <laughs> right, Whew. so we're heading up there. We might drop down again because it's dead windy. It's dead windy here, we're not even at the top yet. Now look at that. The sun. It's awesome, man. look at that. It's a nice shot, isn't it? A view to a kill. Ranadale in the background, the foreground. Is that, that's Mel Break, isn't it? What's that behind or is that still part? See how steep it is? Whew. Hard. Aye. <sighs> Don't fall, Nick. Like. Still can't even wait again. This is this is as steep as uh, dare I say it last week's climb. Oof. Push on. Over the back of there is Whiteless Pike. It's up that zigzag path. We just had a walk up there and it's blowing an absolute gale like it's a hurricane. No fun when there's two of you wanting to sit out and have a bit of chit chat. So we're gonna drop down. We're just gonna drop down about here. We found a little pitch there. So we'll have a see what that's like. We could have went on Ranadale, but that's exposed as well. It's that wind, man. That wind's oh, just. Exposed oh, it's just that horrendous. That wind, the wind will be coming straight down off there and just whipping up that. So, what we're going to do is find a little sheltered bit around here. Just set up there. We're still a good height, like. So, there's nothing wrong with that. <sighs> the joys. The joys of. Uh, Bank holiday weekend camping. <laughs> Absolute shit. <laughs> the weather. It's like a winter camp. Oh, it's worse. I think it was better in the winter, to be fair. Like, no, I see that. It's just been constant wind, isn't it? But you kind of you get vexed with these views. These views are amazing. Not even bothered about going up high. Uh, Whiteless is up there, I don't know if you can make it out. That's, that's just the flank of the bottom of Whiteless. A bit, a bit in the background. It's a huge track, it looks massive from here. So, we'll find a spot. Six o'clock, like, we're running out of time as well, so, just gotta get on with it. Andy, us to them, him to me. Listen to them. Forward. I'm going to enjoy this tonight. You'd be hammered. You'd be far now. 8.2. 8.2%. So Wyland Brewery. Should put me away a wee bit anyway. On top of the southern comfort. So <laughs> Help you sleep. To me, to you. From me, to you. To, them. to me, to you. We were going to pitch up there. But as you can maybe hear, the wind is howling like gale force. Pretty wind again, man. Again, the wind. Give it a break. Wind issues. We need a break from the wind, so we've dropped down. We've come down. This is Ranadale Knots. And we're on the uh, we're on the side of it. Still got some good views like. We're still quite high up. It's just that wind is serious. Down the half. Oh I blocked up anyway. Yeah. We're up there. And then we came up there. We got to about there. And we started getting hammered by the wind, so we thought, well, if it's like that there, it's going to be horrendous up there. So it's, uh, it's all right here. Yeah. We can hide behind this wall here if we need to. That's for another day. We'll be back. Whiteless Pike. We'll be back. Uh, it's, it's, it's a neat point though. When it's two of you. But, you want... Better weather though. If it's neat winter, oh, it's better weather. We'll get a neat weather like. 
we're knackered, we're in tired. I would just think it's going to be far too windy. I'm over explaining myself on it. <laughs> it's sounding wrong. <laughs> anyway, that's Buttermere down there, the Fash, where we had one pint each. That's all. Oh, look at that over there. Get these tents up. Set up. Oh, it's just too wild up there, like top of there. It's mad. Like I say, we only got we got to about there, and then we start getting hammered. So I thought I'd turn around. But when we, when we set up the tent here, it's a nice enough place. Like we'll just drop down a couple hundred feet. I mean, look at that for a backdrop. That's not a bad view, really. You don't always have to go high to get the views. And it is all about the views. I mean, look at that. Look at that for a shot there. Just take that in there. There's two of them. There's no wind now. The wind's completely gone. We're setting these tents up before. They were flapping like mad. They were getting hammered. It was about it's completely gone, isn't it? 20 odd mile now, wasn't it? It's unbelievable. <laughs> it was ripping the tent out of our hands. It was. And it was gone completely. Hope it stays that way. Oh, I'm flipping sure. It's cold, isn't it? Here's Rob's little setup. It's awesome. kind of Foster's look. And he's look, he's got a uh, he's gone to the dark side with his craft beer. <laughs> I don't know where he got that from. Some bad influence. <laughs> Set up. Oh, that wind's biting though, and it does come. It bites. It's not exactly flat by pitch, but it's all right inside. I'm in like I'm in like a kind of a, uh, a depression, so it's actually quite comfortable. Anyway, I'm gonna chill out for five minutes, warm up a bit, and then get the get the steaks burning. Whiteless pike, it's bigger than you think. That's Grassmoor behind it. We're camped up on Grassmoor. We, we both still can't believe that we actually did climb up the top of that. <laughs> See how big it is? Ranadale Knots. Mel Brick. This is uh, the high style ridge, red pike. High, high crag, high style, one of the, I don't know. Haystacks and then fleet with pike is just there. And these big ones over here, not sure, maybe Robinson. Oh, that's Buttermere. And that's uh, that's Robinson. Uh, I think I'm gonna put an extra layer on as well, it's chilly in it. Fingertips are numb like. Uh, cold now, like. Look at that though. Not a breath of wind. It's gone. I'm happy with that. <laughs> I'll take that. That's mad though, isn't it? How, how wild it's it was before. It's completely gone. That makes sense. It's completely, it's just not a breath. Run down to the beers. Can... We've got Guzzoline. This is the Mad Max one. We've got Diablo. I've had that one before. It's lovely, that one. Um, uh, Curse of Threepwood. This is the rhubarb one. The last one I had wasn't the rhubarb one. This is it. Rhubarb and hibiscus wheat sour. Wild weather ales again. Us and them. Love that, but God, that's expensive. That's five pound a can. I bought one for Rob. <laughs> and then that one there. I <laughs> only five pound back. Don't mess with Yorkshire ale. This is a northern monk one. Northern monk. So you're not to mess with Yorkshire Ale, even though it looks like they have. So the bar's open, it is, what time is it now? Half past seven, man. Craig Charles, but it's on download because there's no signal for the radio. This is the view. This is my view of my tent. Just something else. Like. This is a really good pitch. It's really good. This is fucking a really I'll tell you what it is, you can see the cars down there in the car park, but we seem to have walked for miles. We seem to have walked for about three miles, but we're, we're just looking at the cars down there. I think we dropped down quite a way, didn't we? That's what it is. So there he is. Monsieur Rab. 
angles. <laughs> slide rule. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> Just missing cat weasel. All right, folks. Cat weasel and slide rule. You, you save that one well, to last. Oh, do I? Oh, that's, that's your last. No, oh, that's your last one. Oh, that'll can I have it now, That'll finish you off, that. Oh, oh, I suppose. It'll oh, kill you. Fosting. Well, you just have your fosters. Oh, that's a bit boring. See how you tell them off, like you know what I mean? Just a young lad, you know. He's just a young lad. He does what the old man says. He does what he's told. Do what the old man tells you. <laughs> I, do. I know my place. Respect the elders. I can my, I can my place. <laughs> How's your tears anyway? They're fine, why? I'm just wondering if they're cold. Alright, oh, no, I've got some uh, Four Seasons socks. Oh, did you eventually, jobs. you eventually took my advice? Yeah, they're, they're, no, they're no good. Yeah. They're alright, actually. You're telling them we're about three oh, years. I cold feet. Uh, no cold feet, cold tears. Feet are just ending my tears. Like. It's steak time. Oh, got that on, that's a nice big fillet in your garlic butter. We've got um, this guzzoline. Mad Max drank that. Temperature is 1.3, 1.4. Yeah, a little bit windy, but we're out of it. Rob's just there, cooking his steak. So, can't really see much. Good little spot, this. Just saying, it's not very high. You don't have to get get high to get here. But what a what a good little pitch. And in the summer, you'll get all the ferns in front of you. All the all the grass will grow high, but this bit won't. You see, you've got the nice little plateau. Ah, it's a good little place. Lovely views, mind. Lovely views. Anyway, freezing. Ooh, Need to warm up the stick. That is absolutely beautiful. Tender. Look how pink it is. Nice and pink. Listen to the wind though. The wind's picked up again. Oh, it's like minus four wind chill. Anyway. Gonna crack on with this and uh, crack another beer as well after that. Oh, it's getting really chilly now. So it's so cold, what I might do is I might mess with Yorkshire ale. I'm gonna get some Yorkshire ale and I'm gonna mess with it. Even though there's something in the back of my mind telling us really I shouldn't. I think I'll mess with no Yorkshire Ale. Once in a blue moon, there is two full moons in the month. Oh, it's vanishing. And this is the second full moon of March. So that there is a blue moon. Insert own song in there. It's not the colour blue, it's just because it's uh because it's rare. Isn't it? It's not gonna pick the moon up. So that's it, we're off to bed. Stunning scenery. Can't pick it up on the camera. But it's really good. It's cold, it's cold. The wind's gone. The wind has gone. Rob's Rob's all tucked in. Are you tucked in? No, I'm a fuck. I'll be getting in. Had all the beer. Drank all the beer. Scattered cans everywhere. Ruined the place. Burp. Bedtime. Morning campers. Hidey high. So this is the view in the morning. 
Might not be a big climb, but look at that. Not bad, like. Sun's out, but the wind's still here. I'm still in bed. Snoring. Can you hear him? Oh, that's 8.30 anyway. Had a good lie in. Slept well. Nice and comfortable this place. I'm gonna get the kettle on. I just chill out. We need to get a kizzik before all the crowds arrive, like two, but there's no panic, there's no rush. I'll give my shout shortly. views in the lakes from here like but I mean from any angle really yep I need to get this kettle on coffee with the view look at that yes anybody wondering I still use my old Van Gogh stove that's the original <coughs> it's five year old now Extreme gas, I think it's just ran out, but I have a backup. It's a full one. It's got my help kit pot. Looking a bit worse for wear, like, but it still works. And the old table, or the old original table. Gillet, I don't think you can get them anymore, the Gillet ones. You can still get another make. See an old bladder. Oops. God. And on the floor I've got this foil mat, which is a large size, doubled it over like it's double warm. Foil on both sides on this one, foil on both, the front and back. It's really warm, I'm sitting on it now. You feel the heat, you feel the difference between the floor and there, it's a big difference. Anyway. So, just about ready. I packed away, just quick pack away, it's so blimmin' cold. The wind chill's really nippy. It's cold enough to uh, warrant gloves. Anyway, good little camp, good little pitch this. It's a big lawn over the place, we climbing. Walk is out. It is a bank holiday weekend after all, like, so it's gonna be busy. There. Loads of cars in the car park we have fixed we park down there. It's gonna have to uh, just a little stroll down really. Coming up steep but going down's alright. It's only taking about 20 minutes or something to get down. That's it. Just waiting rub, get his tent down, shouldn't take two minutes. It's the beauty of these tents, they're going down good, don't they? Here we see the wee rab tussling with his poles. He may be wee in stature, but he's big in Japan tonight. See how he approaches the poles. A professional tent puller reporter. Look at him. Just look at him. That's where Rob was. That's there. Oh, look, that's where Rob still is. Really soft. I think that's why I slept. I know, it was dead comfortable, like it doesn't look it but it really was. I was slept in this ditch. But it was it seemed to like fit to me body shape. <laughs> it, was just, it was good. It's not somewhere I would normally pick that, but it was really comfy. Yeah. 
So, enjoy that? Did, yeah, another good wild camp. We'll get out again soon. Yeah, definitely. Right, so we're just going to head back down now. Let's see here. That's it. Back out next week. Return of Kazakam. Hopefully. With special guests. Secret mystery guests. All will be revealed.